What's going on guys, Ryan with Jedi Patrol, back with another video today. I'm going to be taking a look at the Disney Shop exclusive, Galaxy's Edge exclusive, I guess Disney Shop exclusive, life-size Cantono. Let's check it out. That's right guys, we're back, another video today, I have the Camtono, the ice cream maker, the best car carrying apparatus that was needed to fetch this guy. So we, now we got this guy. So if you don't know, because not a lot of people, I guess, well, so a lot of people did, I guess, because it sold out very quickly. Uh, Disney Shop put up this uh, Camtono life-size version here uh, on their shop last week, uh, and uh, it sold out in a matter of minutes. Uh, shout out to Cindy, one of the Patreon supporters who sent me the link. That ended up costing me the $50 that cost to buy this plus the shipping and everything to get it here. Uh, thank you, Cindy. Again, <laughs> that was very kind of you to let me know. Uh, they also had the Kenobi lightsabers up, but I missed out on those. I was in line and those sold out. That's that's fine. Um, I got a lot of lightsabers anyways. Um, but last year, Hot Toys released their life-size child, which is awesome. And I have the Sideshow life-size child statue as well. I actually have that one at work. And to add to the Mandalorian lore, uh, a Camtono, uh, I think, was a pretty fitting addition. So I'm pretty excited for this. So uh, Grogu's pretty happy about it. He's got his shifter knob. We're going to take a look at this guy, which is actually pretty stinking neat. But I'm going to need a little, I'm going to need a little table space, if you don't mind, fellas. So let me kind of, I'm going to kick you over there. So this guy right here, uh, it was somewhere around 50 bucks shipped. Uh, unfortunately, if you want one now, you're going to pay a lot more than that. However, Disney Shop being what it is, who knows if it's going to show back up or not. I have no idea. I do have plans to do some modifications to this. So if you want to see what I do this, we're going to weather it. Uh, definitely subscribe to the channel if you've already done that. When I get to the new house in a couple weeks, uh, thankfully, uh, and we get settled in there, then I'll break out my airbrush painter and all that kind of stuff. We're going to weather this guy because honestly, as cool as it is, and it is cool, it needs... It needs that Star Wars weathering uh, that you can't get in mass production. There, you, there's a couple things going on here. They tried on like a general wash of it. You can see the brush strokes of it, but you know, it needs some work. Uh, interesting enough, there is actually batteries. There's a battery pack right here. There's, uh, I guess, AA or AAA batteries. I don't even know what they are, uh, whatever they are in there, because it came with the batteries, so that was nice. Uh, and it has on top, it has a uh, some button functions. And these button functions allow you to lock and unlock the uh, the Camtono, which is actually pretty sink cool. So if you put in the wrong code, you won't be able to get whatever is inside. Now you may be storing Beskar slabs in here, uh, you, or ingots. You may be storing uh, six scale figures. You may be storing literal ice cream. I guess you could do that, but I probably wouldn't recommend it. Whatever else you want to do, but I plan on uh, 3D printing me some Beskar uh, ingots and have them kind of displayed. And when you when we open this up, I'll show you exactly what I mean. Uh, before we open it up, obviously you saw the scale of it with uh, with Grogu. Let's say it's about, I don't know, 14 inches or so. So it doesn't take up a whole lot of room. And it's it's fairly nicely done. The outside has like the idiotic bit of weathering, like very, very, very tiny weathering. Uh, but there are some nice touches of, of different color variations that we've got in here. Uh, so we've got some nice little gray triangles and there's different things going on. Uh, that's actually quite quite well done uh but it just it just needs that ever you know it needs, it needs some weathering right uh, on top you've got these uh buttons button layout here so you've got three buttons here which you can actually i believe program the code if you happen to mess it up it does come with a particular code and if you guys are nice if you hit the subscribe button hit the like button i will actually tell you what the default code is so we can open this thing up so i will wait you hit the button subscribe commented let's go Let's do it. Um, so the way you open this thing up, the default, the default password, if you will, uh, you have a one, you have a two and a three, and you hit the number one six times. And we should get a little green button, which I, I think it's already unlocked. So yeah, one, oh, there it is. Two, three, four, five, six. Hey, look at that. And we got a little green light. So now we can turn this guy. I'll do this this way. And uh, now we can open it. Boom, it's kind of it's kind of dramatic. It opens up. It's pretty stinking cool, I think. Uh, so all the sides open up, and you even have a little light that goes on in there. 
Uh, that's kind of nice. And in the inside, there is no weathering whatsoever. But look how this, I mean, you can imagine like with Beskar pieces laying around, you got your, uh, you, you, this guy is kind of hanging out over here. Uh, maybe you got your Mando helmet from the uh, Hasbro Black Series, which I do have uh, packed up. Uh, maybe it makes a like, quarter scale Mando, which is not backed up yet. Maybe he would look good with this. I just, you know, having a whole lore thing going on, I think is pretty cool touch. Um, sorry, go, go, I'm getting back off screen. Uh, on the inside, there are these nice little panels. There's ridges in here. This is like a foam material, a foam synthetic material. It's got a little bit of like padding to it, uh, but there's literally no weathering on the inside. The, uh, the buckles out here or the hinges are just solid black plastic. There's nothing growing on there. And there's no weathering. If there's a tiniest, tiniest bit of weathering on these posts, like the, just the tiniest bit. Uh, so there definitely is a need uh, of some weathering for that. So my plan is to weather this up very nicely. Uh, airbrush, dry brushing, we're gonna, we're gonna have some fun with it. 3D print some, uh, some Beskar steel in there. And I'm just having a display just like this. I think that's gonna be pretty stinking cool uh, when we get to the new place. So I'm not sure exactly how far we're gonna push the weathering, but that'll be for a future video. Unfortunately for now, I've got to put this in a box and then take it to storage uh, until we move uh, in a few weeks, which I'm super excited about. I just, I am super excited about it. Just, I, I'm excited to move for the new place, but the task of redecorating another room after I've done all this is just daunting to say the least, daunting. Uh, also shout out, to, one more shout out to Cindy if I can, because as of the recording, like right now, she is at Galaxy's Edge picking me up the Cal Kestis lightsaber hilt. So we'll do a video on that when it gets here. So uh, Cindy, uh, thank you for being a Patreon supporter and thank you for costing me a lot of money. So there, there we go. <laughs> Appreciate the help on this. Uh, if you want some inside tips and tricks and just background knowledge, behind the scenes stuff, definitely check out the Patreon. There's a link in the description below. We've got some pretty cool stuff coming up, which I'm not ready to announce just yet. Not just, not just yet. If you're in Patreon supporters, you already know. But for everybody else, do not really announce it just yet. I'm super excited for this right here. And uh, yeah, what do you guys think? Should the Disney shop like reissue this thing or put them more on the shop? Bella seems to think so. So that's kind of nice. But uh, yeah, there we go. As always, click what you like. See you next time.